Yes. I know that you've been waiting for me. And here I am, Dr. Thompson Akwantuba, and I continue my series on dominion recovery, and I'm speaking on the subject of forgiveness. Now I know that there are many of you who have been thinking, what's going on? But I want to tell you that as I continue to speak on forgiveness, there's something called forgiveness therapy. And if you have not come to the place where you begin to learn how to forgive, so that vengeance that is held within you does not become a cancer that destroys you yourself, then you have only yourself to blame. Because God has made a way of escape for us. And you have to be able to come to that place where you use the grace of God to deliver yourself from the whole of the devil. Because the devil doesn't want you to forgive. And when you, when you don't forgive people their trespasses, you will not be forgiven of your father, the Bible says. And, and, and the F aspect of the healing section of the Dominion Recovery book actually shows you the power of forgiveness. Because forgiveness even goes with anger. But the Bible says be angry, but let the sun not set over your, your anger. There are some people who are very angry with certain things which are happening in certain churches and maybe they've been talking lately about Nigeria and, and whatever. Now, let me tell you something. God actually says, let the weed and the tarry be allowed to grow. And we should be able to teach the congregants, teach the people about some of the works of false prophets. But it's not a place to look at everybody preaching the gospel and calling them false prophets. Because the truth about it is that Paul actually made it clear the importance of motive behind preaching the gospel. Let me tell you something. The word is the word. Even if it comes out from the mouth of the devil and God honors his word, that is why at times it may be very difficult for you to be able to distinguish false prophets and true prophet, but all the same, don't allow the things that others are saying to hold you bound, to hold you back, to make you not to stand and worship God and be able to follow the commandments of God. Because one of the commandments of Jesus to the body of Christ, to Christians, is to forgive. And how many of us can really say that we walk in the spirit of forgiveness? Seven times, 77 times seven. Have you done that? We are still bothered about, oh, who did this to me? Who? You know, I'm also a victim of that. We are still concerned about who did what to us, who, who did not do what to us. But I continue to tell you, as I bring this teaching of, forgive, of forgiveness to you, that unforgiveness is 